measuring G's. What's weightlessness? Well, gravity is always pulling on you. You've got weight because gravity pulls you against things, like the ground or a chair. If gravity didn't pull on you, you wouldn't have any weight. You'd be weightless. Say you're in a spacecraft orbiting the Earth. You and the spacecraft and everything in it are actually falling toward the Earth. You and everything else are all falling at the same rate. Nothing's being pulled against anything else. That's called free fall, and you'd feel weightless. But you don't have to go into space to experiment with weightlessness. Paco tried it in an elevator. tried free fall on a roller coaster at Six Flags over Texas. She is with Carolyn Summers, director of physics at the Museum of Natural Science. Oh, How high are we up here? We're about 75 feet above the ground below us. So the car, the chain pulls the car up 75 feet, but then it stops. What makes the roller coaster go? Gravity. Gravity pulls us toward the center of the earth. When the car goes over the top of the hill, gravity takes over. The force of gravity causes the coaster to accelerate as it races down the hill, and you're free-falling. The astronauts gave us the word. You feel loose. You're out of your seat. And then when you hit the bottom of the coaster hill, you're pushed into your seat, and you feel heavy, maybe three, two or three, maybe even four times heavier than you normally feel. We get to feel for a moment what the astronauts feel like in free fall? Just about. We feel as light as an astronaut and as heavy as an astronaut does at blast off at the bottom of the hill. Okay, everything's ready. Have a good time.
would a slinky work in weightlessness? Robin and Miguel are at the Johnson Space Center trying to find out. Now this is great. <laughs> but it's not going to work in space. It'll work. No, it won't. Yes, it'll work. How do you know? See, It'll you don't work. know. You we got some help from astronaut Joe Allen. Hi. Hi, Joe, Hi. listen. Would this slinky actually work in a weightless environment? If we were to let go of it in the weightless environment like this, it would be pretty plain because it would just stay there floating and wouldn't even, it wouldn't even unfold for us, would it? What if you apply force to it to make it move? What would happen? We could pull it apart. Put your hand there. That's good. So in the space shuttle, when we pulled it apart like that, it would look pretty much like that. Mm -hmm. And we could cause it to oscillate back and forth. But I'm afraid that's about all it would do. What about the yo-yo? Ah, yo-yo. Well, let me think about this. Let's see if it does. It depends really on how you use the yo-yo. And okay. some people will do a yo-yo like this, where they let gravity pull it down, and then they kind of pull it back themselves. Other people, though, tend to throw a yo-yo. Right. And then with a little jerk, they cause it to roll yeah. back up again. So if you're the sort of a person that drops the yo-yo like that and needs gravity, uses gravity to take it down, then it wouldn't work at all. We've got another toy here. Okay. It's a gyroscope. Would this work? Would this work in space? Well, let's see it work right here. What causes it to work here? Well, it's a magnet right now, so the magnet is is causing it to stick to the to the to the wire to the mm -hmm. wires. So it's both. It's so you called it a gyroscope, right? And you called it a magnet. Now, which is it? I know, I'm not sure. Which is it? Well, it's really both, mm -hmm. isn't it? And it's a pretty special toy. Let me look at it a minute. Let's pretend we're in the weightless space shuttle. When we have it moving like this, we can then just let go of it. And the whole wire is, is floating, and the gyroscope is going around the wire. And what do you suppose the wire's doing besides floating? It would move back and forth. And the wheel would move in the other direction, so it would just keep going. Short of taking it to the shuttle, is there any other way we can simulate a weightless environment here on Earth? Uh, we have a special airplane that we call the weightless uh, airplane. Mm -hmm. The airplane's not weightless, but it, it flies a, a parabola. That is to say, it flies like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And as it goes over the top of the roller coaster part of the ride, for just a few seconds, everybody and everything inside the airplane, all of us are weightless. That's the plane Joe's talking about, the KC-135. And that's me inside the plane with all the other people doing their experiments. When we hit the top of a parabola, we started to float. Whoa! At first, I held on. But then I got used to being weightless. And then I tried our experiments. The slinky didn't exactly do what we thought. It did float, but it kept springing back together. See what I mean? Whoa. did work, but I had to kind of throw it out and then jerk it back. Whoa! Whoa! the gyroscope toy to work at all and I don't know why
In the KC-135, I was only weightless for 30 seconds at a time. Think what it must be like to be weightless for days. I don't get it. Why does your weight change? Because as gravity pulls me down, the elevator is still falling away from me. So I don't push on the elevator floor as much. Instant weight loss. That's great. Yeah. Do you mean I could lose 20 pounds just like that? But on the way up, wouldn't that make you heavier? Sure. You see, as the elevator pushes you up, gravity still pulls you down. So you seem to weigh more. Well, who needs that? Forget it. <laughs> Any scale do that? Sure. How tall does the building have to be? How much do you think I could lose? Did you see that? I lost 20 pounds. Oh, I lost 22. But look where you started from. <laughs> against things, like the ground or your chair. When you're not being pulled against something else, you're weightless. That's what happens in space. The astronauts call it free fall. But even on Earth, you can experiment with weightlessness on a roller coaster or even in an elevator. One Classroom Contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Yay!